By the end of that year, Louisiana Governor Huey Long addressed the American citizenry and, in an infamous radio speech, called the United States a dead nation. Rallying to his cause, several states rejected Washington's new dictates and formed an American Union state, vowing to root out the corrupt federal government that had brought the country to ruin. This bellicose move was soon followed by syndicalist elements in the North, who seized Chicago and the Great Lakes area as the combined syndicates of America. Almost overnight, one of the world's last remaining republics collapsed into the revolutionary chaos that had claimed Russia, France, and Britain a decade earlier. Brother took up arms against brother, and cities across the nation were turned into blazing war zones. More bitter words were never spoken. Second American Civil War. Our cause seems long lost. But we think back to 1776, to Washington, his army swept from New York and New Jersey by the Redcoats, only to return across the icy Delaware and, against all odds, deliver a glorious victory at Trenton. Our fathers fought on, and so shall we. We will unite against these rebels and return the rule of law to our great nation. We will fight on. So rally to the flag, men. For our homes, our families, and our future, we will fight on. As our fathers did, we proclaim this sacred oath. Down with the traitors. Up with the stars. Down with the traitors. Up with the stars. This is very 2020. Let's just see where the oldest goes. My goal here is what I want to do. If you don't like it, suck my dick. I want to be a democratic America that plays world police. I want to make nowadays America. Like, fuck up Germany and all the communists, everybody who talks shit, and make a peaceful democratic world. I will play peace, A, no fascists, no communists. Dude, that is so epic. That is, so, doesn't that, that is the first time this ever happens, right? There's a communist revolution in Russia. That didn't ever happen before. I like how Kaiserreich is also different sometimes. This is beautiful. President Hoover will need to intervene in order to save this bill. Chat is saying to pledge support to Wagner, force the establishment to work with the AFP. Why would you say to? I will not work with communists and fascists. All the people in chat that say that are fascists and communists scum. And this, I will. I will put America first, I will put our freedom first, I will put our democracy first. After an incredibly close vote in Congress, oof. The Garner Wagner bill failed to pass. While several groups are declaring personal victory, protests have broken out in various parts of the country. There will be no relief for the American worker, and many have declared the government to be corrupt and dysfunctional. The time has come to dust off one of the American military's color-coded war plans. This one meant for dealing with domestic disturbances and insurgencies. It cannot come a moment too soon as the violence is escalating in areas where the AFP and the SPA have been contending with local authorities for dominance. Minnesota and North Carolina are the two states where the violence is at its height, and at the moment we can only focus on one. SPA has economy though. SPA is always stronger. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna listen to my advisors here and do that. The violence caused by supporters of the America First Party and the Socialist Party of America is only getting worse. We need to increase funding to the National Guard units and put them where their efforts will count most, not in the capital. Thank you, Broku, man. This is actually so real, lifey. There's a way to not get a civil war. I wonder how you do that. You probably have to get the bill through in the beginning. The communists are stronger since they spawned the North World Industries. You want to focus on them more, okay? May Day, International Workers' Day. This is a holiday for the Socialist Party, which, where they celebrate... Parades and speeches, blah, blah, blah. However, this time things are more violent than normal. Clashes between the socialists and the local police, backed up by the AFP, have occurred around the country. The question is, who is at fault? The socialists declare that things repeat... Uh, the socialist party gains political power. No, no, no. Can't do that. We cannot get them. We're going to blame the police here. Otherwise, they will get mocked, kill them. The summer has turned into violence and blood in the cities, starting with Charleston, always Charleston, South Carolina, throughout the country, engaged in bloody racial riots as whites beat up blacks and burned black businesses. The number of lynchings that occurred throughout the country spiked during the summer. In response, the African Blood Brotherhood and other elements of the SPA and CSA have begun arming and fighting back. The Socialist Party of America defended their actions and have furnished blurry photos they claim to show AFP members and lynch mobs. I just lose everything. 
The results are finally in from what has probably been the most ideologically contested presidential election the United States has ever witnessed. None of the four major stop the count. None of the four major parties have secured enough votes in the Electoral College to outright win the presidency. And as a result, the House of Representatives once again has to vote on the winner of the election. This is probably not the end of our problems, but for the time being, the victory goes to... Well, Democrats or Republicans? What's the difference? I think I want to be a Democrat. I chose the Democrat. Dude, he sucks. Strict austerity. Dude. Oh, minus five consumer goods. Despite the challenge presented by the American First Party and the Socialist Party of America, the two-party system has managed to hold onto the presidency. The question facing the United States now is whether that will be enough to maintain peace. Okay. I don't care if I don't get peace. Hey, I want to woke. I want to play a story here. I want to experience a story. I am not going to let a communist or fascist win the election if I play a Democrat. I stand with this decision and I don't care. SPA contest the results. Mr. Trump, members of the Socialist Party of America refuse to accept the results of our free and fair election, claiming that the House Representatives system has subverted the will of the majority. Stop the count. Jack Reed has said as much and called the whole of Congress reactionary for its justice. Fucking Reed, man. Literally trumping me here. And the fascists also don't like the election results. Iron Fist, enough diplomacy. The Socialist Party of America and America First are purely successionist groups whose organization must be ended at all costs. So I'm, I'm, I'm announcing the hard line, baby. President John Nance Garner today announced that a hard line will be taken against SPA strikers and indeed against any extremist force that seeks to further destabilize America. China. The Pittsburgh mass massacre, dude, this is getting climaxed. All it took was a single spark to start the revolution, and in Pittsburgh, that spark occurred when a crowd of people stood outside one factory, determined to oppose the National Guard. Guardsmen fired into the crowd, leaving five dead. It did not take long for this to quickly be dubbed the Pittsburgh Massacre, and the steel belt was driven into a frenzy. J. Edgar Hoover, director of the FBI, arrived at the White House early today to grimly inform President Garner that civil war is imminent. The best chance for the federal government, he says, is to take decisive action now before the AFP and SPA can become more organized. An assassination, this is true CIA shit, of Huey Long will mean the collapse of the AFP as it's centered around his personality. An assassination of Jack Reed, meanwhile, will throw the SPA into disarray while the IWW and AFL competed for leadership, at least long enough for the immediate danger to pass. I'm ordering Mr. Hoover and the FBI to assassinate Jack Reed, 70% shit. Oh, what happened? What, they di he died? Thus, he was found in his cell? He hanged himself? Even though he was on suicide watch? That's it for the SPA at last. Dude, what? I'm playing true America here. I'm just assassinating all my enemies. They can all suck it. Assassination fallout, minus 10 work. I get crazy debuffs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chaos engulfing the country following the assassination of Jack Reed. Huey Long has seized the moment and denounced the federal government as tyrants and American democracy as truly dead. A number of southern governors immediately declared their support for Long, declaring the morally bankrupt government as having no true authority. These state governments are backing up the Minutemen militias who have spread throughout the states. This is as stand by the public, stand by the republic. Stand up in America. Second American Civil War serum we must bring. Dude, I can't just take them all. Oh no, I thought I can click them all. Oh god, I need to make Oh my god, he has so many units. Federals overtake South Texas. Oh, I took that. <laughs> Syndicalist bombings. I like the Bitscreek stuff. Uh who was the guy who said Bitscreek? Yeah, right? He's the one that talks about Bitscreek. Check their focuses. Armor. Dude, look at armor losing. What? Minus five production, but they lose major stuff. But then they come back. Dude, he's like the armor guy. The middle guy is artillery, and the right guy is just land doctrines and basic stuff. Let's be fucking Chevy. Let's let's be different today. Let's let's do something different. Not always the basic Tommy K144 bullshit. Let's do something different today, man. This guy here, motorized gets more speed armor. Let's make a full armor build. Kenneth George Althouse. I'm doing a full armor build. If we don't die. I'm doing a full armor build, man. Dude, this guy has millions of units. We got these boys. They're coming over. America's fucking rising. Seven, eight, eight in Illinois. Dude, America is rising. This one looks good here. Keep this guy busy and kill this. Nice. 
Yeah, New York is pushing a bit. Eastern Front looking not too bad. Nice. Encirclement of Norfolk here looks very good. Take care of it. Okay, big success here for the American army in the east. Big success. Longest uprising in California. Dead. What? Orders. Yo, what? Come on. What? You gotta be easy normally it's free from war. I know, but I got it easy because I made good political decisions. Well, the uprising in California, which is... Come on. Up. Should rise up New Jersey. I want to fight. Hey, everybody, whoever has... Oh, New Jersey has eight? I didn't see that. Hey, I need fucking Jersey Shore to fight for me. Dude, look at all this army here. Fresno. What the fuck is Fresno? What a weird... That sounds like dog food. Get your Fresno dog food now. Dude, Red Army can join now. There's a lot of openings. Red Army, full of We're going to go to the heartland. Nice and stroke, man. Can I hold it, though? Keep your distance. This guy out maybe. Red army is actually break doing some breaks. Looking good. Blue army just hold. California bullshit needs to be handled. I just got the New Jersey boys. Welcome to the Good's Jersey up. Shore. Number of Native American tribes have decided to support us and offer their services. Nobly, this should help with hiding our comedy. Okay, that's clever. As we are fighting the various traitors, leaders of the NAACP have begun to push for what is being called the Double D campaign. Victory for America and victory against racism. Not all African Americans wish to fight for radical factions, and thus a campaign has begun to fight for America and to help win the Civil War. So the... Oh, 8,000 black people joined me. Nice, I like that. Yeah, man, we should work yes, together. Sir. I'm with them, dude. I want to I wanna play a modern yes, America, sir. man. A good America. America that instructs a shit ton of fascists in the East. We need to keep the back clean of this army. They're Washington doing so great. Back, Let's go to Tallahassee and instructor Florida. Second Defense Army is doing so good. California almost freed. God damn, I love Kaiserreich. I'm so sad I didn't pay attention in the final of France. It happens still. This is so much fun. This is such a good mod. It's actually hard, and there's a story, and it's just so much going on. I just love it. Dude, I have... Let's take a look at my fucking tank bonuses here. Shifi's plan. 15% tank speed. 10% more tank or 10% more attack. 15% uh, extra more attack. 15% defense minus 20 production. Plus 20 speed extra. These tanks will be completely insane. They have some debuffs, but they will be completely monkey. My tank... Oh my god, these tanks are gonna be so beautiful, man. Look at all these deaths. I don't need to purge after this. Because every flash has died in this. All the restored in Ohio. On, Dallas, out. Texas. Finish this fucking bullshit, man. Red. The fall of New Orleans, baby. Kuba joined the ice pack. I don't know if I like that. Kuba crisis in coming, man. Legit. Don't waste uh, power. How can he build, How could he establish such a big army here from a, just one rebellion? Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This game. Laps of the Union, baby. Oh. Oh, dear God. That's good. The enemies of America have been destroyed. Once again, the South has been pacified and the syndicalist menace has been suppressed. The threats to the American way of life have been destroyed and the great system designed so wisely by the founding fathers has survived another threat. Now, across the country, the people can rejoice and celebrate a new era of peace. Down with the traitors, up in the stars. Recovering from the Civil War, minus 50 stability. Whoa. Minus 60 population, minus 60 war support. You also gain economic devastation from the Civil War. Minus 15 construction speed, production. You also gain overwhelming longest resistance. I, I just get unbelievable debuffs. I'm gonna make a, a slow America, even though communists are everywhere. By the way, if you haven't watched yesterday's stream, we have a very different game. Communist Russia took over Russia, which never happens. That's so cool, man, actually. We have communists winning in Spain. This is a pure communist game. And I'm the only one, me in Germany, we have to save the world. So I can't be too late. This is going to be a very interesting game. At long last, the Republic has been saved. The radicals from both the left and right, which tried to destroy America, have been defeated. That's interesting. This is a focus tree. This might be boring to some because it's democratic, but fuck, why not? We're pretty much just getting rid of all the debuffs here that we have. Next guy got to be the double quarter pounder. Maybe the McChicken. Everybody, you can only eat one thing from the, for the rest of your life from McDonald's. What is it? Easy McChicken for me. Is it Mc... Yeah, it's McChicken. Nuggets are fucking sick, man. But it's McChicken. McFlurry? Fish filet? Oh. I see a lot of McChickens. Big Mac is also a big one, yeah. 
when I was poor, I was, you know, there was a time, all the young kids, you don't even know a different time. When I was young, there wasn't these one euro, one dollar burgers at McDonald's. You know these burgers, like chicken burger that are just one euro? They didn't have that back in the day. And I was always poor, so I would just get the one euro McChicken uh, chicken burger all the time. A shit ton. I would eat like three of them at once. I was probably just nostalgia because we were young. Yeah, true. True. It's probably just nostalgia. You know that feeling when you play a game from many years ago? And then after like one hour, you realize the game is not that good. But the time and when you played it was good. The surroundings was good. You know? That's a very sad feeling. Because these times never come back. <laughs> medium one man i'm gonna hog research medium two but i'm gonna slowly get into sub mediums when i have the mills i mean soon a big mill program will start i'm gonna build an economy out of this world man um there's one gimmick to this though i want to add um spa later self paid artillery also i had a dream of something when i wasn't bad i thought of something i want to add something else to this i thought of something why do people never make imagine this division but Every infantry here is motorized infantry and every artillery is driven artillery. Like an infantry division, but that has more speed. That's something... I, I, it's very bad in multiplayer, but if I'm so rich like here... just want to try it out later when I have more power. Ah, oh, man! Kingdom of Spain won the Civil War. How does Portugal even get Galicia? Is Germany actually winning? We will see. I, I can't really... In, I can't do anything. Okay, here we go, manpower is coming. Mexico did what? Declared war in Costa Rica. Okay, fucking Mexican Hitler here needs to be stopped. We need to show the world that America is not a play ball that you can just play with. We have to show the world that America stands its own ground. Shouldn't I just counter this, actually? I'm gonna do counter justification, just in case. Set it up, boys. Mexicans wanna play a game? Let's play a game. You have full authority to invade Mexican lands. Ready, I mean, sir. they fuck. Oh my god, I just spawned millions of militia. <laughs> what the fuck, Mexico? Well, let's install a democratic government over here. There are a number of men who are running to be this year's Democratic Party candidate for president. The main contenders being lawyer and CEO Wendell Weick, former Speaker of the House Connor, who's president right now, Senator Harry Byrd, or General Douglas MacArthur. I think it would make sense that Americans would vote for Arthur because Arthur was literally the leader of the Civil War saving America. I want to do something. I never fucking did in Hood 4. I want to try something. What the fuck will this division... Why does no one do this division? I think because it's too expensive. I remember when the game came out, I always made divisions like this. Like with Germany. This could really be something. It's just motorized infantry in the end. There it is, dude. How deep do I want to go with this, though? Wait, I own this? Oh! Dude, you stole the Panama Channel from me! Oh, we're going down to Panama. And then I will build a wall here and believe South America to itself. That's the doctrine. That's my doctrines. Dude, I'm, a, I'm fucking USA, okay? Everybody needs to listen. Needs to listen to the boy, okay? Need to listen to me. I decide who your government is. I'm America. I have the CIA. Look at this. You think you choose? Who your government is, I choose. As long as you're South American, baby. And here comes the puppet, so you can take Baja. And restore loyal Costa Rica. Ah, here. There, there it is. And now I have a loyal government. State for Alaska. Alaska is obviously the state. If I do Democrats, I become Douglas MacArthur, right? Oh! Douglas MacArthur, man! The hero of the Civil War has taken the presidency. Look at that mad lad. Honduras needs to go. Take him down real quick. Then we take Panama, take my channel back. I need my channel, obviously. No question. And then I stop South America. And then we can actually make start making big plans. Uh, the United Front in China has four. And that is that. We are now gonna finish the scum in Panama that stole my channel. And then we're done in the Caribbean. Into the fray, the arsenal of democracy. Look at this focus. Pretty much everything is built easier. Dude, America seems a little bit broken, actually. Seems a little bit too strong. Here comes my Panama War. Take that shit down real quick. Taking back the, the channel, which is obviously ultra important. I'm feeling a torch. I think slowly the picture's getting clear in my face. I'm feeling a torch, man. 
Puerto Rico into Torch. Building a base here, then taking down Spain. So Operation Puerto Rico needs to work. But that's the end of this bullshit. I get my channel back. Hopefully, let's see. Look, I'm going to show you guys. Kaiserreich is so good. It's literally going to give me a decision to hold uh, Panama. Hey, uh, liberate Panama, but take the channel. Yep. Keep the channel and give it to Central American allies. Ah, oh, that seems better. Yeah, that seems better. And I got the channel back. There we go. Uh, I can still build the wall, I think. Yeah. I shall not be able to hold this. The air can't reach. And there it is, man. Yes, Welcome sir. back, Puerto Rico. Talking shit during the Civil War. Man. There it is. This will be so military occupied. Now, build the shit up. Build it up hard. Let's make a huge base here. I'm kind of role-playing. I'm building some stuff that actually is needed. So you land. One army pushing Tunis. One army pushing south. While one army quickly, before the Entente... I want to, like, do this realistically. Before they can even prepare anything, Casablanca into Cadiz and Faro and Lisbon. Establishing my D-Day here. Opening a second front in World War II against International. Pushing in. Operation Casablanca, baby. What was the tank template? This is a soft attack template because of 2 SBA. 20 initiative looks sweet. And 12.8 speed. Never forget, guys. It's broken. I have this here. If you choose Chaffee as your chief of staff, you get this one. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It is completely ridiculous. Okay, almost ready. Dude, when these tanks land, it's all over, baby. But they're here. Can they reach? They can reach. There you go. That submarine freeze for you, baby. Three. Two. One. Please tell me that you're going. Please tell me that you're going. Yes, here we go. Operation Liberation of Europe, man. No more communist scum. And maybe even the fucking king in Germany. No defense. I like that. Big fan of that. They just were a CIA did a great job. They didn't even know what the fuck's happening. Ready, sir. And one, two, two. Bring in these first slowly. Very cool. Very chill. There's a lot of attrition issues, obviously. We gotta chill with first. Actually, they're pushing so successfully. Let's go! I might not even need blue army. Let's just uh, let's just kill that. Ready. Kill that and then Portugal and then start blue World War II in the world. Finish this. I need the blue army soon in Portugal. They actually are invading. Oh god. Looks unprotected, so here we go. This is where the real war starts. Okay, here we go. Team Man. army fully landed. Uh, am I friends of Portugal? I don't understand this Portugal thing here. Doesn't matter, gentlemen. Liberation of the Pyrenees, man. Let's go through it. Look at, look at fucking motorized infantry. They just are so fast. Beautiful. And now the blue army comes with the tanks. It should be over. You know what? You win. You win me. You win me on your proposal. My great chief of staff and chat, you win me on this proposal. Open on the front line here. Marseille, Toulon, and the other thing here. Take another, let's improve the army. We're actually getting stuck a bit. So let's see what blue army can do. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I think these tanks know what's good. Holy moly. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, these tanks are gonna go ham, baby. And here comes Operation Jacques Chirac. I don't know, that's the first French thing that came to my mind. Soft underbelly of Italy next. I'm running out of units. Oh, actually protecting, man. Weird. Mate, I'm kind of running out of units soon. I don't have that much yes. stuff, man. Go, go, go! Oh, careful, careful, careful. Dude, all the rest has been destroyed. Oh, build up Montpellier. It belongs to me, actually. Hey, something belongs to me. It's a level one port, though. Gee. Germany's dying? Ah, it's fine. I mean, Russia's coming. So I guess I just won't play because I don't want to go too far. We are going to be friendly to the Reichspakt and Germany. We're not going to fuck with them. And here's the connection, baby. Stop being aggressive. So, my dear tanks, it's time to look for something oh. circling. Sorry. Look at these tanks. You right click and they're just free. Airport South France. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Why would I have this one, though? Give it time. All good. Nice encirclement. That's the French cheese again. Good. Everybody getting position. French are slowly running out of dudes. Red army killed Italy. Blue and green killed France. Then invasion of Britain. And then somehow reach Russia. And then kind of game over. I'm not going to attack Germany. To be honest, I feel like I'm getting brokenly strong. And the challenge of this game is getting lost a bit. Yeah, next time I want to play something that's a bit harder. I mean, obviously, America after the Civil War, you are just gonna become a monster. But this was still big fun, role-playing everything. 
blue army is my favorite. Man. These guys are epic. These tanks are so good. I mean, the tank bonuses you get as America are mental. God damn these tanks. There's nothing greater on Hoi4 than playing tanks. I always tell you guys, if you ever, if you're new to Hoi4 and you want to have fun, go to multiplayer game and play New Zealand or Australia and just make two tank divisions. My train tanks and actually, and it's actually working is so much fun in this game. Especially multiplayer, man, when you play a minor and your tanks are wrecking people left and right, it is so fucking satisfying. Communal pongs. La liberté! Oh la la! Attention! And in the end, you see me playing a major on wreck just makes the game a bit too easy, my taste. I really enjoyed playing Republic Bronze because it was so hard. I love that. Like, I'm just wrecking everyone at this point. Man. Ready! Let's show Britain how to do the real invasion. Let's go! You fine? The one thing I really learned in this game is that if you're broken and overpowered, this division right here is funny as hell. It's a basic infantry division, but just fast as fuck. 13.2 kilometers. I'm falling off with that division. I hope I will see it more in the future. I don't think in multiplayer it's good. But I don't know, man. It has something. The Red Army, what are you guys doing? Can't you do naval invasion from England above Scandinavia into Novgorod? Maybe, yeah, like here. I can try. What a weird invasion, though. I guess I can try that. Thank you, Permits United. Union of Britain is gone. They're gone. The devil is gone. Matt. No more devils. But uh, so far, I think uh, USA cannot keep up with Republic and France uh, events. The Republic and France events were fucking so cool. That was the greatest single player experience I've ever had. Uh, Novix level 3 4. Well, Russia, time to die. Listen up! Dude, look at the motorized man. I fucking love them. How epic is this motorized infantry? Look how fast they are, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm falling in love with this division, man. I am falling in love with it. I mean, can't I just do this here? The dank memes? <laughs> they have bicycles, man. Fucking Soviets and bicycles. Ching ching, suka. Well, let's just watch the final event. I don't think anything crazy is gonna happen though. I wouldn't think that the developer has like a cool event for America Save the World or some bullshit. Let's just see what happens. And my lines are fucked again. And I'm blocked by Sweden. Oh my god, fuck this. Man. Wow. Leningrad randomly goes to Sweden so I can't pass it anymore. They got this is so fucking stupid. Well, well, after all, I very much enjoyed America. Especially the early game is super cool, the storyline. I think if I was the Kaiserreich developers, I would nerf America. Way too strong after the Civil War. Once, you, once you've uh, finished the Civil War, you won the Civil War. Ready to move. A lot of nets in the red What? Oh, what the? Oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. Algeria. Dude, this is the wet dream Republic. This is the wet dream of America, man. We just, we, we own the world, baby. We own the world? Yeah, boys, I think we're quality here. That was fun. Not as, uh, the story wasn't as epic as um, uh, France. Oh, what the fuck? But man, still fun. And most importantly, I was chill. I was taking my... What I really enjoyed about the day stream was I took my time. We're gonna start another Kaiserite game tomorrow. I hope you will enjoy it, man. I don't want to overplay it. Let's just see what we have tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the nation. Don't text me in Discord right now. Tell me you should play Albania. Thank you guys so much. 24-hour stream. I will announce it soon. That will be fun. Mega campaign will happen in there. South Park is just be very excited for that game. I see you tomorrow, boys. All the best. How partner. Yay! 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 Look at that emotes are flying around. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Now I'm just sitting here sad.